You just can't go sitting there punching people all in the head with all your wives. And you cheap? Let it out. It's trouble. It's trouble for me. We got a vehicle taking off on us. You don't make any move for that dog. Keep your hands up. Get it off my face. All right, right now we're in route to a domestic disturbance. This is actually a house that I've responded to several times in the past. And the last information that was just given by a juvenile saying that somebody was about to possibly get uh, murdered. I get him, he's my brother, I get him. I get him, get on him. Get on him, I got him. I got him. I got him. Get on him. Get on him. I know we shouldn't. I thought we had this conversation like three months ago. It was clear. Stand up. Sit your feet down. Sit down. Do you understand your rights? Yes, I do understand my rights. My other co Okay. Doctor. All right. Having yeah. your rights in mind, do you want to talk to me right now? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me what's going on today while you're over here. Okay. The reason why I'm over here right now, um, my landlord called me. The landlord of this house right here. All right? The rent can't be paid. So you just came here to talk to her about the about the rent? I just called to talk. I, I mean, I've been called. I talked to her mom and everything. I just called to talk to her about the rent. Were you threatening her at all? No. I, you weren't threatening I, her? No, I, did you no. did you touch her at all? Did you push her, punch her, grab her, nope, nope, strangle nope, her? Nope, 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 nope. I, Look, man, I know I know you're over here. You want to see your kids. Hey, you know, hey, I know you want to take care of the rent and everything. I'm, I'm you okay, like listen, this. listen to me. I listen, let me talk. Baby. I understand that. Um, but when I come in there and I tell you you need to get off. Okay, and you need to get on the ground. You need to I do. Don't know, I don't know who's on me. Okay. I mean, I had Will on me at first. Okay. You may not have known it was me right no, at I, first, I, I but after know. after about two seconds, you knew it was me. Okay. I know you knew it was me. You're looking right when at me. That tail okay. Hit me, I knew it was something. Okay. Else, he didn't have no taser. All right. He yes. He didn't have no taser. Okay. So, so I knew it was you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, you want to give me the rundown what happened? He called on the phone. Okay. He was cursing and he was yelling on the phone. She was begging him not to come over here. Please don't come over here. You don't care That's nothing about I'm my kids because, you know, know protective services are involved in it now. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to be around the kids or us, period. Mm -hmm. Them people, you know, I'm coming. So when I've seen his car coming, I called 311. Okay. And so they, so she said, well, when he get there, call 911. So then by that time, he was in the house and stuff, and I was scared, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What happened? I begged him not to come. I'm thinking he wasn't going to come because he already okay. knows CPS is involved. He already knows you guys no. are involved. Okay. You know, and I'm like, please don't come over here. I don't got time for this. Thing. Okay. okay. So, next thing I know, he's pulling up. Did, did he say anything about him? Uh, he was going to hit you or he was going to. Yeah, he said he was going to beat my ass. Is that exactly how he said yeah. it? Yeah. Did you put okay. it on there? Make sure you put that, document that in your yeah. statement. I think I did. And then, did he come towards you after he said that or no? Yeah, he was finna hit her and he came. When he, okay. when so he, he was walking towards you. He, he was in my face. He drew his arm and you grabbed his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that, buddy? Where'd you yeah. get yeah. him? He called him just in time. Okay. okay. All right. Good. All right. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for burglary, obstructing. No, 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 no. Not no yes, burglary. burglary. My house. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, listen listen to me. The me favor, What burglary sir. is, burglary do does not mean breaking into a house and stealing stuff. No. Burglary means going into any structure with, in with intent to commit grand or petty larceny, any felony, or None assault or battery. Okay. Do me a favor. All right. That's something that Go you can bring up in court. court that you can fight in court. And he hit me right in my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. We had good citizens that saw you do it and turned you in. What's up? Nothing. You got to take it somewhere else. We're going home now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting there. This guy comes over and started blessing me, beating me. That guy did? Yeah. That's not. I didn't do anything. I was just sitting there. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to, to okay. his girlfriend. Hang tight. It's got to take off. He just got punched by a male. He's right there. How far down, dude? I'm not Where's he at? 
You know what? You know what I'm talking about. Put your hands up there. You hit me first, for real. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll right take here. you. We'll take you and tell, you tell us where he's at. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, for real? Don't. No, I don't. Oh yeah, she was. No, I don't know. Yeah. I live right here, for real. You are together with him. Where do you live at? He was asking right you here. if he knew I'm me. Corner. I don't know where he's at, for real. No, seriously. You saw I, what happened. No, seriously. You I, I, I'm coming home. I am right there. You want to search her real quick? All right, we're coming now. They got him. We got to locate on him. Thank you. So we're about to get to some mail. We the got suspect. him. Yeah, Danny. Gracias. Uh, as it started, we were going to a 911 hang-up call, and this gentleman waved us down that he was assaulted. So we have his girlfriend and the male. We're here where we started at. He backtracked, came back to the bar. What, what exactly happened when you, when you... I just, I walked in mm -hmm. and pulled the chair, sat down, and he was with this girl. So I, I, I ordered a beer, the beer came. One sip I took, as soon as I put the beer down, I felt like so the building just collapsed on me. He was standing right behind me, you know, preparing a punch. I, I, I'm on the way because, you know, right. I, I'm, right. Like, I'm, 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 I'm relaxed. He snuck me. And he hit me, you know, I shook it and tried to stand up, cross me and another one right on my lips. I said, oh, what did I do? What is this? Who is this? What's going on? Right. Then he went around the block changed into a shirt and a, a cap, and then I sat down at the bus stop, and when I sat down at the bus stop, I said, well, there's an awful lot of cops out here tonight for some reason. He said, well, why are you worried about it? Well, I looked down at his stomach and seen that he was breathing hard, so that indicated to me that it had to be the gentleman that ran out of the bar. Right. That's when I, I uh, flagged down an officer, and they arrested him. Look, is that her? Yeah, that's her. That's her? Yeah. Okay. That's her. All right. She's the one. He probably wanted to show off for his girlfriend. All right. Wow, that's... All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Go yeah, enjoy, you enjoy your night, okay? I'll try. I'll All try. right. Book them both on the assault charges, and uh, because she was supposedly chasing him okay. along with our male suspect. So you went, what, you went and changed and everything? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you did. I saw you. You, you, you took off on me. I, went, I was walking from 25, 55. No, you weren't. You, you ran. You just can't go sit, sitting there punching people all, in the head if all you want. We got witnesses. We have good citizens that saw you do it, and citizens turned you in. There are people that do care. And even your girlfriend even ID'd you. Yeah, have you. Enjoy jail. Edward 10, 1059. Edward 10, go ahead. Uh, I got a truck right up here in front of me that he just rolled this stop sign right here. So we're going to go ahead and get up behind him, initiate a traffic stop, and see what his hurry is all about. Edward 10. We're going to be, looks like southbound on Rosedale, and be coming into a residence at about, I'm trying to see the address here, stand by. Going to be Oklahoma Tag. Adam John Union. Hey! Lincoln 5, would you show me 27, hey. please? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Lincoln 5.100. Okay, I'm not too far off. I'll back. Edward 10. Edward 10, 10, 1063 foot pursuit. 10 forward, 63, 2100. Yeah, we're not route to him. Edward 10, I just lost him. I'm gonna be uh, right over here off West Admiral Boulevard in Rosedale. 
came down through here. I thought he got caught in the bushes right here. He had red shirt, blue jeans. He came through here. I couldn't find him over here. He went this way somewhere. I think he's, I think. He got east of here? I don't think so. I think he laid down in here somewhere. If you can go right up here. Man, if we could, go ahead and all units out here on this scene, switch over to RMA-2B. Could you bring RMA-2B up and patch everybody together on that side, please? All county units go to RMA-2B. Dog's gonna be out here. Uh, if we could, get somebody to monitor that for traffic. Okay, for? Okay. Yeah, white male, he's wearing blue jeans. Is he yelling? Is he yelling? Got subject in the yard over here. I'm bragging. Let's get him up. I'm bragging. Oh. Don't fight me. Oh, my muscle. Nope. Oh, my muscle. I need some help handcuffing him. Oh, no. You got your dog? I just got your arm up. Give me your hands. I'm tasing you now. I don't try to. Ah. Ah. I can't. Here, I... Hold on, please. Don't run next time, buddy. What the... What the... Bring your feet up underneath you. I'll get up. One, two, three. Back on my leg. I can't stand, man. Need a hand? I can't stand. Now yeah, roll over. Standing up. One, two, three, let's go. I can't. Oh! Come on. Have him to roll over here for a dog bite. What's your name, Dead Bird, man? Rich, huh? Richard? No, Brett. Right Brett? There. What's your date of birth, man? Seven. Six. Seven, Can I six. please have something to drink? Please, I'm sorry. When Emerson gets here, they'll get you. Oh, 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 You're a man. No. Man up. Man up. Oh. I'm already hurt. If you're tough enough to have two sleeves, Gosh. you're tough enough to take a dog bite. Yes, now man up. I just want to live a normal life. Well, you gonna, you know what? May, maybe I'm after leaving. you get out, maybe after you get out of county, you can try to get. I won't never be able to. This vehicle stolen. They got some precursor items here for uh, methamphetamine, and I'm very familiar with this guy that uh, we have arrested, and uh, that was his old deal of choice. So. We'll see, uh, right now he's gonna be under arrest for possession of stolen vehicle, possession of precursor substances, resisting, and fleeing. Oh, you're not just chilling, bro. You trying to duck me, bro. That weed scent got stronger as soon as I shook your pants. Got a blunt on. A oh, blunt, where? In my cheek, bro. In your cheek? Yes, Let it out. Just to catch up to a vehicle while driving at a high rate of speed through the area. It look like they're ducking some corners. Three, four, three. Three, four, three. Got a 99, 1,000 block of Hopkins. Be at Martha towards Cameron. Be a white Honda Accord. Victor, 105, two. Be at a stop, 1,200 block of Cameron. Driver, exit. Step out, man, let me see your hand. You stand over here to the front of my car. Huh? What you doing, man? I'm just chilling, man. No, you're not just chilling, bro. You trying to duck me, bro. No, we come back from the car wash. No, you ain't came back from the car wash, bro. You trying to duck me. I'm sorry. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right, whenever I tell you to open your eyes, open. Close them. Close them. Keep your mouth shut. Just close your eyes. Whenever I tell you to open them, open them, all right? Go ahead, open them. No, open your eyes. Oh. My man, you on something. You have, no doubt, you have no constriction of your pupil. Hello, Paul. You're not going to find Brillo on so many places, you know? Yeah, For only so many reasons, you know what I'm saying? When I come across the railroad tracks, I seen you turn. That's when I got behind you. And that's when you started accelerating, trying to duck me. I can't, I can't. So now you're going to honestly that. tell me what you chewed no, I'm up. I'm trying to see what he's saying. What I you know. chewed? No, I ain't chewed nothing, sir. Look. Bro, your tongue all white, man. Look, man. Mm -hmm. Look. Better wipe it off, bro. No, 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 dog on my tongue. No, I came out Bienville, South Bienville like that. I went around the street. I went like that. I went straight. You kicking something over there. 
You kicking something over there. Loosen up your cheeks, bro. The, the weed scent getting stronger at some school. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nuh-uh, mm -hmm. that weed wasn't that strong a few seconds ago. Uh-uh. I ain't selling no things, bro. That weed scent got stronger as soon as I shook your pants. What's that right there, man? I got a blunt. Oh, blunt, where? In my cheek, bro. In your cheek? Let it out. Let it out. Send me a hand, man. Put him in cuffs, bro. It's tucked in his. Little blood officer? Little, but what I did... Hey, what you got tucked in between your cheeks, bro? As soon as I grabbed right there, bro, you tighten up. You said they no, had something right there. I ain't got nothing, man, bro. I, bro. I ain't bro. smoking. What you stuck in between your cheeks, bro? No, I said I, I, I probably had some weed in my pocket or half a blunt or something. No, man, come on, bro. Man, you can search me, officer, man. Come on, man. man. Don't do that, bro. I got a little bit of weed. What? Yeah, in my cheek. All right, get it out. I ain't selling no dope, bro. That's all you got right here. Come sit in the back seat of my car, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check the back seat of my car, and if there's nothing in there, and then when I put you in there and I check it again, there's something in there, you know that's yours, okay? Right here, we got a small bag of high grade marijuana that he admitted to having concealed in his anal area that he retrieved for us voluntarily. Listen. You could have made it easy on yourself and told us, bro, from the beginning that you yeah, had that. What, man? man, that you had that crack pipe, my man. Who? That was your pipe, my man. Crack pipe, man. Listen, listen. Man, come on, man. Y'all go summons me, man. Listen, but listen, I'm trying to help you out. Listen, I am going to summons you, okay? But I still got to go to jail? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, right. listen. If you'd have just said, officer, listen, I got this crack pipe. I don't have, I didn't have no crack pipe, man. So that I, wasn't yours? That was my crack pipe, man. Mm. Well, you're going to get charged with it, my man. You made that hard on yourself, right? You made that decision. Yes, sir. All right? What happened? I was kind of speeding. Yeah, and, 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 and look, like, turning corner to corner, man. You never know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't lying to you. I didn't tug you. I know. I didn't know. I know. You're getting charged with the possession of marijuana. All right? Front left door. Look, sir, bro. No, listen. I ain't selling listen. no drugs, man. You're getting charged with possession of marijuana. All right? Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. We're going to make a traffic stop on this green Ford Taurus. Uh, it's got no license plate, no temperament, and there is a recently stolen one matching this description. 975, we're going to be about 89th and Powell. And if there's a close car, code one cover, please. Is this your car? No, is this my friend? It's your friend's car? Yeah. Okay. How come you don't have a license plate? My driver's license is suspended. Yeah. Okay. Please. I want you to take your keys out and hand me the keys. This is no keys. It's a no keys car. Is it my friend? No keys. Yeah. It's not my. How car. do you start the car then? What? How do you start the car? What's your friend's name? My friend is uh, two, uh, two name is Mosca. No, I don't know his name original. Mosca is my friend. Okay. okay. So you don't really know your friend's name? Uh, no, no, I don't know what is the name original. The, the, the okay. So, so it's your friend's a... car, and you don't know your friend's name. No. Have you ever had an Oregon driver's license? Who? Have you ever had a driver's license? What? Have you had a driver's license in Oregon? Yeah. 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 Okay. So you should be in our system, in DMV? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is your first name? Uh, Mosca. Can you spell that for me? Who? Spell your first name. My name? Yeah. What? What is spelled? How do you spell your name? What is spelled? My two number? Oh, you're killing me. Step out of the car. Okay. Let's go have a seat in this car, okay? You don't understand what I'm saying, so just have a seat for now. Ah, yeah. Running the VIN on the car, the license plate that was in the windshield, actually comes back to a Ford Thunderbird, um, which this is a Ford Taurus, so. And it's a stolen car. It's actually the one on the hot sheet that I've been looking for. All righty, I'm Officer Botitis. I'm going to figure out who you are. Do you have ID? No, it's my DS go, pero es. It's at home? Yeah. Okay. He says he has no, a suspended license. Right now, no powers. Right oh. now, it's a suspended did you, did you give your true name to the officer already? Yeah. You did? Yeah, my name is That's your name? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that's your name. If it's not your name, 
Yeah. And you're and you're not telling the truth to the officer. You can be charged with separate crimes. Do you understand that? It's my name. It's uh, called an IBIS machine that takes fingerprints and it, it tells us does belong to uh, somebody. Then it's identified by one of our ID techs up in our identification division. Okay. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have have you go ahead and place no, your right thumb, okay, yeah. right thumb. Yeah. There you go. And I'm just going to have you relax it. Okay. Just relax. Let me push. Okay. You don't push. I'll take care of pushing. All right. Okay. All righty. It'll transfer the thumbprints over to this machine. And then once it has the information, it'll send it up to the computer. This is not my car. I know. It's a stolen car. No, it's my car. I know it's not your car, OK? You were yeah, driving it. Possession of a stolen vehicle. It's a stolen car, OK? Yeah, but no, it's my car. All right. It's trouble, it's trouble, it's everything, it's trouble. Well, you took it from a friend you don't even it's know trouble. the name of. Let me talk to you, Victor, it's trouble. It's trouble for me. It's trouble check, it's trouble computer, it's all it's trouble for me. The people, I don't know. In the United States, everything, people not good. Did you get the hit back? Yes. Let's plug, let's go ahead and plug. I gotta plug, plug it in the Yeah, computer. plug in that SID number as well, just to verify it. But according to what it's saying here, the name that he provided is in fact him. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, Fasto. You understand you're being arrested, correct? What? You're you're under arrest. Okay. You're going to be charged you with. You're looking computer. Can no. I mean, Okay. Hey, simple. listen to me. Okay. okay. Sorry. You're under arrest. You're yeah. going to be charged with not only driving while suspended, which you obviously admitted right away. Um, but also for unlawful use of a motor vehicle and possession of a stolen vehicle, okay? We got a vehicle taking off on us, going down towards 5th. Joey, just toss the gun out, man. You see it? You did all this. Hey, everybody. Law and Crime's Jesse Weber here. I think it's pretty obvious from how wild Cops Reloaded is that the world isn't always the safest place. Well, that is why I wanted to highlight our partner and proud sponsor of Cops Reloaded, Morgan and Morgan. You know from watching this show, one of the most unsettling things in life is if you get hurt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. I mean, 3 million people call them every year. They've completely modernized the process to make it super easy for their clients. How? Well, you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team, all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. That is incredible to think about how quickly you can submit a claim and have them fight for you. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you can submit a claim at ForThePeople.com slash Cops Reloaded or by dialing Pound Law. That's pound 529 on your phone. I'm trying to catch up to a vehicle for uh, excessive tin on the windows, loud music, stupid traffic stop. Thirty-seven eighty-four emergency. We got a vehicle taking off on us. We're going down Robinson. He just made a uh, right turn onto Terra Street. It's a silver older Chevy Lumina. One black male driver inside. Just made a left onto uh, Burroughs. Burroughs. And a left onto the dunk car. Coming back to Robinson. He just made a right onto Robinson, going down towards fifth. Joe, he just tossed a gun out, man. You see it? Still going down towards fifth. Rate of speed is. Right now we're going. 40 miles an hour. He just turned uh, on to 5th Avenue. Going inbound. Going inbound on 5th. Continuing inbound on 5th. We're getting ready to uh, approach uh, Kirkpatrick here. All right, he's pulling over here. We got him stopped on 5th Avenue. Shut your car off! Shut your car off! Put your hands up! Keep him up! Unlock your car! Shut it off! Step out of here. Slide over here. 
You got what on you? Marijuana, sir, my right pocket. Cuff Turn him up. Turn around. Just cuff him up. Just cuff him up. For some reason, you want to stop for us? Sir, I didn't want to go to jail for it, sir. That's it. For what? I got marijuana in my pocket. You had more marijuana. We're going to go back and get what you just threw. Now's the time to talk to me, man. Sorry, I don't want to end up with some weed in my pocket. Sir. You didn't just run because you had weed. Yes, sir. We're going to go back and get what you got. Then your attorney's going to be talking to me and begging me for deals, but there ain't going to be no deals. We're going to go back and get that gun you just threw. You hear me? I don't have no gun, sir. You don't have no gun. I just got marijuana in my pocket. You just got marijuana in your pocket. You just did all this for marijuana in your pocket. I don't want to go to jail, sir. I'm scared. I just got off of work, sir. You the burrows, make that left there. Hey, and let's the go up, Joe. Let's the let them watch him, and let's go up and get what he got. All right. They're going to stay here and watch us. You guys mind watching him for a second? We'll go back up and retrace the steps. This is called in by a child. It's unknown if it's going to be a uh, bogus call or not. Here to toss the firearm outside this alley up here. Is it Dunbar? I said Decatur, huh? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right here on the street. Right there. There's his gun. Told you. There's his magazine. We're going to go back and talk to him, see if we can get the uh, story of why he threw the gun out the car. You want to talk to him? Yes. Yeah. read him his rights? Yeah. Slide down. Slide, Slide down. down here, man. So What'd I tell you? Right you got to talk to me, man. It's your last chance to talk to us. Because after this, you're going to jail. I want to know where you got the gun from and if it's stolen. You're getting charged with the VUFA. You're getting charged with fleeing and looting. You're getting charged with the marijuana, reckless driving. And if you're a convicted felon, you're going to get the 6105. And you're going to be sitting downtown for a while. Let's go. You had your chance. Remember it. Not make any move towards that gun. He was acting, he was acting strange. I, I said, about, don't, why are you being crazy with a shotgun? Don't, don't call me crazy. Right now, I've got a partner asking for code cover, emergency response, right up around the corner. We've got an armed, suspicious vehicle. Unknown circumstances are what's happening right now. 31397. AR 15 behind you. You in the gray sweatshirt, do not make any move towards that gun. Keep your hands up. Turn and face away from my voice. Grab the collar of your shirt with your right hand. Lift it up. Turn all the way around in a circle. Keep going. Let go. Now, you're going to walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Go, start walking backwards now. You in the blue shirt, on your hands and knees, move out to the street. Stop right there. Go up on your feet with your arms raised up in the air. We got one shotgun up against the tree here. Four subjects, not sure what we have. Everybody's in custody, and we're just going to sort out what the gun was about. Came out as an armed suspicious, people arguing. Uh, showed up, saw the guy in the long sleeve sweatshirt, cradling the shotgun across his chest. He was and near the tree or where was he? standing what? right up by the tree right there. Okay. And I had all of them just kind of milling around right here. Just instantly prone to everyone out? Yeah. As okay. soon as I came, I just drew down and I ordered everybody to drop. Rick, what happened tonight? He came out with the shotgun and he mistook that truck for the other neighbor's truck. Is that what you were saying earlier? Well, I was trying to figure out because when I was talking to him, why, why you got a shotgun up here? You know, okay. And he, and he said, Eric's truck. I said, it's not Eric's truck. All right, and but when you started talking about the shotgun, you were afraid of him with the shotgun too. Oh, he was acting. He was acting strange. I, I said about, don't, why are you being crazy with the shotgun? Said, don't, don't call me crazy. Okay. You know, he was like in a kind of a threatening manner. Uh, that's my. I, I went, I went white for a second. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Thanks. All right, man. So when I showed up, you had that shotgun in your hands. Yes, sir. You think maybe that might not have been a good idea? Yes, sir. 
You don't think that was a good idea? No, sir. That's a good idea there. Listen up. Why were you out here with a shotgun? Self-defense. Self-defense of what? Uh, there was a, it was an African-American male. What my, happened? My girlfriend and I came home from dinner down in the park down there. Okay. And we walked up here. And my neighbor usually parks it, my neighbor parks his truck in that area right there, which is on my property right there to the mailboxes. Okay. And I came home and I saw a colored fella. Okay. Okay. And he was digging in the back of the truck. And I said, hey, what's going on? I don't know you. What's happening? Oh, not much, man. Not, you know, and he, I saw him reaching down in the toolbox, so I figured it's time for me to go. You know what I mean? It's dark. There's... Okay. So you went back into your house? So I went back into my house. I went down and I got my... And I actually called you guys. Okay, because we didn't receive any phone call from 911 that says you called. Yeah. So, in a nutshell, you saw someone up there working on a truck. You thought it might have been your neighbors. And you decided to come up and confront him with he a loaded working. shotgun? He wasn't working on the truck. Okay. He was going to a toolbox in the back of the truck. Okay, but you thought it was your neighbor's truck, right? Okay. All right, well, I'm just letting you know it wasn't your neighbor's truck. Okay. okay? That was actually his truck that he was yeah. working on. Okay? It's right not now. In my neighborhood. It's okay. not, I mean, well, we understand you're trying to protect your neighborhood, but there's a problem with the law when you come out and you take the law into your own hands and you've got a loaded shotgun out in the middle of the street, especially when law enforcement responds, okay? I understand you. But I wasn't out in the street. I was still on my property. Okay. All right. You're under arrest for carrying a loaded shotgun in public. All right. Just slide back a little bit. All right. So you're working on the truck today? And yeah. what happened? Did he have the shotgun in his hands when he came out? You saw him carrying the shotgun? Oh, yeah, he had the shotgun the whole time. The whole time? That's what, that's what we want to know. We want to make sure you saw the shotgun. He walked up to you. and He was holding it when he was talking to you. He talked to everybody. OK. It's against the law to be out in public with a shotgun, especially a loaded shotgun. Mm -hmm. Getting a little crazy like that, loaded? threatening people. Oh, oh yeah. Loaded. Okay. So here's what's up. He's going to be arrested for that today. As soon as we get this all sorted out, you'll be free to go. All right? All right. Thank you. Stop. Stop. Why'd you drop around me like that? Get out of my face. Let me go. You want to act Stop. like this, you're going to get treated like this. I got called by an off-duty officer. He's telling me there's a couple of guys smoking marijuana in a blue car up here by the park. 57 Go ahead. Stop. Stop. Five seven, stand by. Five seven, be out with seven three seven. We're at twenty nine at Tyler. Go ahead and start me on the unit. What's your problem, buddy? Why'd you drop around me like that? It doesn't matter if I have my lights on or not, man. A car, a cop car pulls right up in front of you, and then I point at you and yell at you, stop. Let me see some ID. Y'all got any marijuana in the car? Because I smell it. Go ahead and step out of the car. You have any weapons on you or anything? Turn around. Put chance behind your back. Step right around here and have a seat. And step out. Turn around. Put a chance behind your back. The reason y'all are getting put in cuss is because he tried to drive off from me and because it's just me right now. And there's three of y'all, okay? Step back. Step right over here and have a seat. Have a seat. And step out. Step right back over here. Kristen, chill, please. Have a seat on the curb right there. It's fine. You need to calm down. I'll tell you. Okay, I was going to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Five dollars, like a little blunt, five dollars. And we were smoking. I'll tell you that. Okay. That's it. Who was smoking it? You, everybody? No, just me and him over there. Just you and him? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's his Did you already smoke it all? Is there any more in the car? Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit more in the car? There's, yes, sir. There's okay. Some, okay. I thank you for your honesty, okay? The driver's sitting in the middle. He admitted that they'd been smoking some weed. The girl's only 15, so we're going to have to go over and get her mom. She said they don't have a phone at the house. What'd y'all do with that marijuana? Well, we were smoking it, and then got stopped, so. Did y'all throw it out or what y'all do with it? No, no, sir, no, sir. Where's no, it at? Sir. It was uh, 
in the cup. Did you check the cup on the dash? The marijuana. Yeah, was in the I, cup. I dropped it in. It's... And you, young lady, you're 15. You ought to know better. I didn't do anything. Give me something, okay? Whatever. Look, you're about to get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let me Quit. go. Sit down. You want to act like this, you're going to get treated like this. Do you understand? Turn around and have a seat. She needs a misdemeanor sight. It'll be for possession of uh, tobacco. Okay. She's 15. You influenced her by smoking dope around a 15-year-old girl, which is endangering a child, which could be construed as a felony offense. Do you have anything in your pockets you're not supposed to have? Stand up for me. He was. He was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sir. His driver's license is no good. OK. I'll stick him in jail on traffic. OK, well. Yes, sir. Driver's license is How? I don't know. Is your driver's license? You yes, sir, it is good. I got it at Boys no, last year. His DPS just told me it's not good. You're going to give her a misdemeanor sight for possession? Tonight, yeah, though. and then we'll release her to mom. Here's mom. The driver and the passenger are going to be going to jail for uh, possession of paraphernalia. The driver also for the uh, for his driver's license being suspended. Oh. As far as your daughter goes, she's getting a citation today for minor possession of tobacco. She had made the statement that prior to leaving your house, you told her don't be out doing drugs and don't be doing nothing stupid, get in trouble with the cops. And exactly. Apparently, she took y'all for granted. Yeah. Okay. Independence Police Department right now is in pursuit of a homicide suspect uh, over on the border of where our two cities meet. We're trying to get in the area right now to meet up and help them out with the uh, with the pursuit. We're involved in this. Just make sure your officers You're good. You're good. I gotta wait for. A We are secondary. I'm going to I'm gonna start calling it. Uh, right now, one of our officers is in pursuit of a, a vehicle pursuit of a homicide suspect. We're the secondary vehicle right now. Fifteen A, we're secondary, we'll call it. We're still eastbound on Truman. Uh, he's driving in oncoming lanes. Speeds are about 40 miles an hour crossing Winchester right now. Deep breaths. Okay, he's pulling into the Quick Trip parking lot, Truman and Ewing. Uh, okay, he's going through, coming back to Ewing. Del, he just hit a car. He's been involved at the pumps. suspect here. We got another party that was in the car with him. He tried to cut through the parking lot, couldn't control the car, and hit somebody that was pumping gas. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other injuries other than this right here and then his passenger. This is our second suspect here. Doesn't look like he's injured at the time. He is in custody. So we got both parties that were in the vehicle in custody. Yeah, that's Kenneth there. He was the one driving. This guy here was in the passenger seat with him. I just saw you blink. Open your eyes up. Hey, if you're hurt, you need to tell us that you're hurt. Don't sit there and, and play with us. 
Wake up. He's beating strong. <laughs> he's just playing, he's just playing possum with us. We'll play, we'll play the game, that's fine. Everybody who was looking for him and involved in the pursuit is here. So it's just a matter of determining who's gonna take over from here on this party. Um, an officer's gonna be accompanying him to the hospital and be staying with him until he's released. Once he's released, he's gonna be taken to jail where the detectives will talk to him. Uh, and eventually he'll probably be charged with a homicide. Ron, for her? I know three for sure that I've seen her. For sure, I can yes. find out for you. Three for three. sure. Three, is okay. that including the suspect? Yes. Okay. Fine. But right now, just from looking. No. Right. Kenneth, okay. Kenneth hasn't said anything. He's fake. Fire thinks he's faking. They tried to pull his eyelid down, and he's forcefully holding his eyes closed. Because they were warning us. They were like, hey, guys, he's not letting us open his eyes, so be ready when you take the cuffs off. We're all here, man. Now, this gentleman over here, this is the captain from Clay County that's heading the, the, the okay. thing. Okay, and this so. is the guy that we just had, I just had a bullet on, right? Yes. Yeah. I cannot, sure, okay. He, he actually has a warrant for his arrest right now for the homicide out of Randolph. Nobody got seriously hurt, the bad guy's gonna go to jail. Officer made a traffic stop up here on high drug corner, was uh, during the stop flagged down by a resident in an apartment complex, and she stated that someone pulled a knife on her in the uh, complex, so we're gonna see what's going on here. We got two things going on here. These guys are good down here. We're gonna go up to this apartment complex and check out the person with a knife call. Okay, where's she at? She's up there. That door should be open. Right, right. Right there. Go on and keep the apartment. 25, we're making an entry. 21. Steve, need assistance. Need assistance. Norwood and Ron. Dan Norwood and Ron. Our tour of cars also responding. Down there. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Call a subject refusing in a traffic stop. Apparently, fighting with officers during a traffic stop. Pursuit northbound Montgomery. Fighting with officer. Apparently he had some cocaine on his uh, person. That's why he's running. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's trying to strike officers now. He just tried to strike uh, Officer Manning. He's gonna be wanted for felonious assault on a police officer. Let's turn to that. We got a school here and sub suspects pulling into. He's gonna get blocked in. Okay. In custody. Hey, did he have uh, cocaine on him? Yeah, I guess that's okay. what we got out. That's what we got. That's why he took off the circle. Okay. Right? You okay? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Relax. 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 They just got scared of hell on me. Putting everybody in danger. Well, I'm, I was like the stop old Germany in the 40s or something. These guys are telling me Go they ahead. want to search my car. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got nothing in the car. Why'd you run? To that little bit. I got scared. Get the out of there. Who gave you? He said for, that was for the ride. I don't want that. But I got it. Oh, the guy you dropped off? Yeah, let's put it in my pocket. I don't know what the you give me. All right, bud. I don't, I don't know what, what's going on, you know? All right. You guys are going to what happened? 
We pulled him over for improper display on his car. I got up to him and I was asking him what, you know, what was going on, where he was at, stuff like that. Asked him if he had anything. Told me he didn't. I said, okay. Asked him again. He said, no, go ahead and check. Got him out of the car and I checked and pulled a little bag of uh, crack, tiny little bit of crack out. Then he started fighting with us. Hit, he hit Chris. That's when we called for assistance and uh, somebody else came out, tased him and the main, main thing is nobody got hurt. All right. All right. Good Thanks. Guy. Now we're going to transport the prisoner and uh, start the paperwork.